Wait. So you guys can sit over here? Yeah, and then just be careful what people... I got you. People... I'm like, who's sitting? Okay, where were we, where were we sitting? Oh, where? Well, it's awkward now. However you that's want to sit. That's the way they have the chairs. <laughs> well, that's why. So you make yourself comfortable. Oh, you yeah. think it might work? Yeah. Yeah, it'll yeah. work. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to stop fucking up and pick the next one. I thought the table was still going to be out here. <laughs> yeah, right. There used to be tables. It was. You took away the tables, they're like, yeah, you're no good. You, you <laughs> right? Put the tables away. You like, just got to deal with it. Exactly. Oh, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, it's on. It's, what do you mean it's on? It's got anything. Oh yeah. And barely. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't. Sure, I can scoot this way. Okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, welcome to another edition of Shenanigans Podcast. What's up? Yo, what's going on? Yo, yes, I'm here with Anthony Perez uh, and Jesus Herrera. So yes, we are here doing a, uh, the Chuco Town first ever uh, comedy festival here in El Paso, Texas. And remember, I told you I was coming up. So Anthony, let's we'll start with you. Like. How many shows have you been on for the festival so far? I've been, I've been on two, but I only performed at one because I. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that happen? Um, I really didn't look at like the, the schedule. I had a hard time finding oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to show them like where to go. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I assumed that hey man, nobody's in comedy at six. So at six thirty, when the show was going on, I was taking a shower. I was like, ah, eight, eight o'clock. But you live far away, girl. Yeah. yeah, so you got here like an eight. His first show was the Speed Kills, like Crafton Chill Show, and everyone booed him. So. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <I got> booed. <laughs> like, who's this guy? He's like, he showed up late and everything like that. So, so, damn. Actually, he, he wasn't was, there for the booing. Actually, that so was the good. first time I've ever been booed, and it's here. awesome that I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, how do you get booed without being on stage? That's crazy. What, you, ever, you, ever, you ever feel a boo coming on? Yes. Right? Yes. I felt a boo coming it, on. It didn't go there, but I was like, oh, man, they were this close. This close. <laughs> They are seeing that I'm trucking through whatever I'm saying. They're like, "All right, he's he's, he's a professional, so let's not boom." But oh man, I had to, oh yeah, it was awful. Wow, really? Yeah, it was it's like a bomb. You feel yeah. like when you're bombing and you're you're trying to recover real fast. Yeah. And sometimes you you can catch it, and other times you just like, you know what? I'm just gonna dive nose deep into it. Fuck it. Right. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was right after uh, Barack got elected. Right oh no! After, <laughs> it was a Thursday show, man, and it was. Uh, I was featured for Kevin Hart, believe it or not. No way, congrats! And, wow. Yeah, this is improv, man. Yeah, and uh, I did this joke about how, how uh, I go, hey, man, is it me or does uh, uh, Barack Obama look like Count Chocula? They <laughs> 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 like it, dude. Oh, man. And I had a bunch of heavy metal jokes and stuff. They weren't digging it, but yeah, man, I was that close, man. That's so wow. close. Wow. So oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> anyways, that's my and like, story. Oh, wow. And it, the great thing about Anthony Perez is he's been doing comedy for so long. How many years are you at now? Man, next month it'll be 20 years. Wow, 20 wow. years. And it's like with you, you we hardly see you come out. I know. I, I used to get booked more here when I didn't live in town. Yeah. You know, I would get booked more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's like now... Yeah, so, yeah. like, you're one of, like, us, like, we get booked more out of El Paso. Right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we yeah, go yeah. travel. Mm -hmm. And, like, you're heavy in the Dallas community with the Hyenas Comedy Club. How's right, that over right, there? Man, it's one of my favorite clubs. I one bet. Yeah, they're, they're awesome. You guys, I'll put in a word for you guys. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. No, no, dude, yeah. that's a great room, man. You're yeah. Dude, yeah, there's three. There used to be three, and there's two now, but yeah. one of them has two rooms in it, right? And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a while since I've been back to Dallas. But okay. when I was doing the road, this was my favorite club to come to, right? Well, Dallas wasn't a home. Yeah. But this was my favorite road club, right? Way before I even moved out here. Oh, dang. And me and Dustin, we even told ourselves, man, when we make it, we've got to have a house in El Paso. Yes. Right? And then yeah. without the way things worked out, now I live here and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. No, I call myself trying to get into the hyenas room through um, Spinderella's boyfriend. He runs that room sometimes. And he's like, I'm coming to El Paso. I'm like, yeah, we can't wait to see you. Um, we hope to meet you and um, network and everything like that. He said, I've never heard of you. I said, I've never heard of you either. But, you know, you married so, to a famous person. So right? how's that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, I hate when people say that. Oh, I've never heard of you. I'm like, okay, just because you never heard of me does not mean I'm any less of a comedian than you are. Right. You know, we don't live over there. So, of course, you probably never heard right, of me. Yeah. You know, but then I run into other comments. They're like, oh, no, we heard so much about you. So how do you handle the fame? When people come up to you and be like, oh my gosh, Anthony Perez. Uh, like, you do the locomotive, you do the mechanics, like, you have, uh, yeah, you do a lot. Yeah, that's why I stay busy. Yes. Busy. And I dabble in comedy. <laughs> the dabbles. 
And then we got Jesus Herrera. Hey, cameraman. Jesus Herrera. He got away. He's just so far away. So now we got Jesus Herrera. Jesus. Yes. And a local community here, uh, that's also, no, Jesus. <laughs> right there, stop, stop. <laughs> we already did Anthony Asa. They see me, they know what I look like. And besides the podcast, they can't see this part anyway. So Jesus Herrera. Okay, we got zero views. So. Wait, no, that's great. No, that's great. No, you'd be surprised. We get zero views when we go live because I guess everybody's scared. And then they watch it later. I'm like, why did we watch it while it was live? But then I've got to think about it. Depending on what you're doing, you're busy, whatever. Oh, yeah, on a Saturday night. Yeah. And then because it's a podcast, well, I like going live because, again, like I said, we get to see everything as it happens. The goal for shenanigans is everybody knows what shenanigans means. Anything that can happen that can go wrong. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's like more the behind the scenes. And I don't think as comics, we do a lot of behind the scenes stuff, scenarios. So where people can see like, oh, yeah, you really do like go through it. Because I'm trying to show them the good and the bad of being a comedian. Yeah. The great is we get paid. We get bookings. We get shows. We get out Hold on. You're getting paid? <laughs> you're getting paid. <laughs> I thought everybody was. <laughs> And then the bad is uh, the not getting paid. Yeah. And then the bad part is when you don't get paid or when you, you were promised pay and then it changed or somebody, you feel a certain type of way that somebody's getting more booked than you are. But then you're like, how, what are you doing? Because um, I always think that as comedians, there's like a little hint of jealousy, but positive jealousy, not envy where it's malicious and dangerous. Like, you know, like you want to steal their career, but the jealousy where it makes you it motivates you to write stronger jokes, get better yeah, bookings. You, you just wish those laughs were yours. Yes, Ugh. yes. I want like, those laughs. I should have wrote myself. that joke, right? Exactly. Right. Yeah. So, for Jesus, how long have you been doing comedy? Uh, I started when I was like twenty-three, and I'm thirty-one now, so I guess eight years. Really? And what's been your best show ever? Uh, best show ever. Oof, I, I don't know. Like uh, a couple times at the comic strip were pretty fun here in El Paso. Nice. But like the, the most fun experience was when I went on the road to like Truth or Consequences because it's like a small little town. You don't think like anything happens at that town because nothing does. Yeah. So like whenever you do perform shows there, people are super excited to see you like perform there. Oh, nice. And I, I was, like, performing at a bowling alley, which sounds like it sucks, but it was amazing. Like, yeah. like the way that they had it set up was, like, in a different room, like, apart from the bowling. You, you could still see people bowling. Right. <laughs> but, 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 like, most of the, like, there was, like, a good, like, 40-person crowd just, like, there for the comedy right. to listen to. It. That's like the Rock and Q over in Harlingen. It's a pool hall, and they had a stage for us, but we had to be the stage crew to set up and tear down. And they're playing pool. And you're trying to tell jokes, and they're like, they're look, they'll, they'll like stop it in between the shot. If your joke is really good, right before they hit the ball, they'll look and laugh, and then they aim for the shot, and you're like, oh, yeah. I hope I'm not messing up your game, especially when they're having a tournament. So that's like the worst part. Is and you they don't want to be double them yeah, with a tournament. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, oh, shit. so it's like, so like, what, what? How do you describe your comedy? What kind of comedy? Uh, I, I think I do like absurdism stuff where I, I try to like tell real stuff and then from the real stuff like I branch out into like crazy stuff that can't even happen. Like uh, I, I was talking about like mosquitoes earlier and and uh, well I don't want to get into my <laughs> 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 no, I, I don't tell real stuff. scare everybody away. I, I feel like I, I tell like jokes a white person would tell. I don't tell like anything yeah. that uh, I don't. I don't have any Latino upbringing jokes at all. Yeah. <laughs> but do, do you think is that it, that's important to tell jokes about your heritage? Because a lot of comics will branch out and talk about topics that just are personable to them. I, I think like the important thing is like whatever you find funny, and to me like the wilder and like crazier like break from reality stuff you can get. Yeah. That's what I find the most funny. Like, uh, Louis C.K. was, like, always, like, one of my favorites because, like, he, he would always go into these crazy, absurd stuff yeah. about, like, heaven and hell stuff when, it, when I first saw him. And I was like, that is so cool that you cannot talk about, like, what your upbringing is. I, I, I didn't have no idea what his history is. Like, I had to hear him in podcasts to find out he was Mexican. Oh, really? But, yeah, I didn't know like, he was. yeah, like, Louis C.K. Yeah, yeah, yeah with the red hair and everything. I didn't know that either. Yeah. He's like, uh, uh, Canelo. 
Yeah. His real yeah, name is Louis Cacique. Yeah. Louis Cacique oh. <laughs> or something Cacique. like that. Yeah. No, his kid. But he has a brand. It is something like that, though, like Cacique or something. Just <laughs> <laughs> like S Z C E C K something like that. Yeah. That's weird. All right. So, do you have so after the comedy festival? Do you have any shows coming up? Any projects coming up? I'm going to. Well, I do. I do my uh, my lug nuts show. Yes. Right. Um, I love doing that. I do. I try and put content up every day. It's at lug nuts lug underscore nuts on Instagram. Yes. Right. It's 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 taken. It's not taken off, but you know he's got. My puppet's got more followers than me. He does. Uh, uh, yeah, That's a, awesome. So yeah, um, so I'm constantly just working on that, or, or trying to just keep it going. Just uh, you know, That's social. Hard. Yeah, now you can't do comedy and not do social media. You can't. You know, yeah. before I mean, I started before Facebook, before YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now it's like he's like, oh man, I gotta do that shit too. First, yeah. you just want to write jokes, make people laugh, right? Hit the road. Now you got it like, ah, you know, so it took Social a while to catch up. Yeah. So now, you know, I, I got a little, I got something that's got some wheels. So that, yeah. Then, yeah. Well, good luck to you, sir. Well, yes. for me, uh, I, I actually started doing YouTube before I even started doing comedy. Like I did YouTube when I was like 14 years old, oh, wow. like making little cartoons on there. And I'm like still making stuff on YouTube. You can follow me youtube.com slash at Jesus H comedy. Like, Jesus yeah. hates comedy. <laughs> Jesus hates, I was going for a Jesus <laughs> hates Christ. <laughs> there. Jesus hates comedy. Maybe that's why I finished it right there. Can you imagine the Lord is saying this to you? Like that's my name. Thou shalt not laugh. <laughs> <laughs> or his sister or a comedy that will probably bring it up too. Also, also, well, thank you guys both for like yeah. coming in again. This is Shenanigans Podcast, and we got some more comments coming up for you. So, uh, we're gonna switch out right quick. Hold fast. Thank you guys. Ooh, sure. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for yeah. Please tell the wife I said hello. Yes, I will. Definitely. Yes. Come on over. Your friend, too. He's standing there. Yeah. <laughs> standing there. And then we got Georgina in the background, so we can hear her. Yeah, can you sit in here? He's your bodyguard. Georgina with the blue hair. I'm not yeah, a comic. Yeah. I'm okay. here for support. Yeah. And, that, and that's what we like. What else that's called? Shenanigans. All right. So sitting with us. Um, My name is Oscar. I'm Greg's cousin. Okay. And then there is just Greg all the way from San Antonio, Texas. Hey. Yes. He's the beatbox comic. You can't, You have Oscar and then space. So move it. I think that was thinking yeah, right. there. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm like, where are you at? You what are you doing? Me? <laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, can sit together. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah, there you go. Your really? shirt's matched too. Oh, yes. Right. <laughs> it wasn't planned. It's we just called it. Yeah. it. <laughs> oh, okay. We're just in sync. So, just break him down here for the People Town Comedy Fest. But a lot of people don't know he got to start right here in El Paso. So, just great. Tell us about your comedy journey. How long have you been doing comedy? I, mean, I started doing comedy back in the like, right after the pandemic stuff like, started dying down. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, we were, uh, I started doing it. Uh, what was the first over mic? I think it was Mad Hatter. Oh, really? When oh, was wow. Back at the Mad Hatter. Shout out to Mad Hatter. Yeah. That was <laughs> Next cool. to Rubik's. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of hard to compute with karaoke. When it was beautiful. Not only that, like I got so mad because they had a com comedy contest at Mad Hatter that was open to the public, and yeah, I can. I was hurt that I lost. I I don't mind losing to another comic, but I lost to a person that just I just tried oh, my was, luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was my my first drama. open mic there. Yes. I didn't know it was a comedy. It's not drama. <laughs> no, we're still Facebook friends. She goes, you remember me? Okay. We're Facebook friends. Yes, I remember. Yes, I remember. You know, she's a teacher. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I remember. Oh, <laughs> shout, out, yeah. shout out to Orlin. She's still here in El Paso. She's a uh, professor over at UTEP. So oh, I don't right. mind that I lost to somebody smart. <laughs> um, but it was a very good show. So if I had brought people, I have not had fun. So it happens. So. Your transition from El Paso to San Antonio, how's it been? Because you're killing the game over there. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I appreciate like, you saying that. Well, because I can see you on uh, social media. Like, follow us on social media. Like, when you friend one of us, you friend all of us. So uh, tell them your social media handle. Uh, right it's at Just Greg Show altogether. Yes. Just and, like, you'll see all his flyers. And we did a show over at Corpus Christi. <laughs> it was great. And then the disappointment he had, he went oh. up there and he killed. <laughs> and then he goes and he looks at his camera. He's like, oh, "There's no audio." 
Yes. Grace so was on stage. I mean, he had a great set, oh, and I love working no. with Gray because I looked great. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it was funny by my facial yes. expressions. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> he's boxing with the best. He's got the robot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's on camera with no no noise. <laughs> what is he doing? He having a seizure. Um, he's okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. I promise. <laughs> so, how do you see your comedy going for you? Man, I don't know. I just, I just been enjoying it. It's so much fun. Yeah. Like, I just hopefully one day I get to make a living out of it. But yeah. if not, you know, it's so much fun. I've met so many cool people. Man, I'll give you two dollars right now. Yeah, all right. <laughs> that what? Would, that would me. You awesome. you made it. I can stretch you know what? it. Right. That's what she said. Like, <laughs> Here you go, my guy. You got oh, to you so much. Hey, okay. You guys. <laughs> he did it. If my he boss is watching it. this. I quit. <laughs> That's how it goes. Because comedy is hard. Not a lot of people no. realize that Take it. Uh, the behind the scenes, again, it's shenanigans is behind the scenes of what it takes to be a comic. Is, I call it the woes of comedy because a lot of us feel we're supposed to be farther than we are and we don't know why we're not there yet. And I've seen the work that you've put in because a lot of people, when they get on stage as comics, they'll stand in one spot, they'll hold that microphone to their knuckles is white. You take the chance and you get up there and you do the beatboxing. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people know like there's a beatboxing comic. Beatbox is back in the eighties. Yeah. Why would you try to bring that back? <laughs> but you're the only one doing it. You have to. Jesus. You find your niche. No, 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 it's not a bad thing. It's just that how did you come up with that concept? Like what made you go that route? Uh, I well, I I started beatboxing before oh, comedy. Okay. That's why I was. I saw an episode of Arthur. Shout out to Arthur Wait, fans. What? <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah, so there's an episode where Buster, it down. Oh, she's, she's a bitch. Uh, no, sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> no, but Buster Baxter, hey, I related yeah. so much to that guy because his parents were divorced and everything. Yeah. And uh, there's an episode where he's like beatboxing, so I was like, hey, he's gonna start getting into it, right? And then uh, I watched a lot of Mexican comedians, that's why. a lot of comedians in Mexico are very. Uh, animated and they do voices, they sing, they, you know, they're not, they're just out there like entertainers. Yeah. So that's I was happened. like, hey, there's got to be a way to combine both. Of them. So that's all yeah. Uh, that it was very sense. clean comedy, sorry to put in. Uh, you, you're, no, Mexican, you're well, Mexican comedy, like, is very, uh, white, it's white comedy. So they have to stick to jokes that are TV friendly. <laughs> that's bad. That's so bad. They're, they're very animated. And uh, Greg, since he was young, though, like, the noises, uh, <laughs> uh, like all gets all jelloey and yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, that's right. Jelloey? Not even jelloey. Okay. Um, but yeah, he's always he's always had that, and he's never gotten nervous. Like he's not afraid to just let it loose. Yeah. yeah, I get nervous all the time. We all do. <laughs> we all do. We just have it real well. Like I, get, I think the more you get up there, but, and that's what all mics help you, you do practice getting up there, practice get your stage presence and how you want to be. So, of course, you know, you're going to get nervous, but yeah. you keep working towards it. But Oscar, why aren't you doing comedy? Then? You sound like a comedy <laughs> I oh. just, I enjoy it. I, I'm, I'm a fan and yeah. seeing Greg uh, work his, his jokes and come up, come with new jokes and whatnot. Yeah. But nah, I wouldn't try. I'm not, <laughs> I don't have, I don't have the dedication for it. Mm -hmm. And I understand that it's a, it's an art. Yes. And a lot of people take it very serious, and it'd be disrespectful for me to do it, and I'm not really putting my effort into it. So. Oh, thank you for that, because yeah, a lot of people think, like, it's in the crowd. I could do, yeah, yeah, I could do what you do. Why are yeah, you up yeah. there? And then that's where hecklers come in yeah. and try to yeah. ruin the show, yeah, talking yeah. shit. And then when we pull your card, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I'll play in my bad. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. Comedy. I, it's, yeah, it's amazing comedy. that... Uh, that the scene is getting bigger because when Greg started, it wasn't, there was little, little shows here and there. We went to a show, God, it was like the second or third show oh, where, oh man. <laughs> but you, you were hosting it, if I'm not mistaken. I, I can't remember. Oh, Foul Mouth. Foul Mouth. Oh, wow. Okay, oh, well, I lied. Oh, no. I went to, my first one Mike was at Foul Mouth. It was oh, Sharita, I think Hobo Vela was hosting. Yeah. Yes. Jordan Spa was there and so was Marco Antoine. And okay. and one other person. Hey. And no, Henny wasn't there. But <laughs> I bombed for straight, like just ate a bag of, you know, <laughs> oh, and I quit for a whole year. 
bro. I took the whole year off. I took the whole year off. You were just lying because he was like, <laughs> this fool was just really? lying, straight lying. Oh, he's discrediting you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, so basically, <laughs> instead of coming back and working, you just quit. Oh, oh yeah. my god, I think it happens. You get yeah. discouraged. It, it I does. remember my set yeah. though. I was doing like a fake Mexican accent. Oh, no, Why? but you're real Mexican. Aren't you? <laughs> I know, <laughs> 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 verified, guaranteed. How dare you? It's <laughs> just hacky, you know. <laughs> but that's the thing about comedy comedy will make or break you, and you will find yes. out if you are going to make it in the business or not and there's a lot of people that are calm like i said they think they can do what we do and then you never see them again mm -hmm. and so at least you came back True. you know mm -hmm. so it's That's like right. and then and like i said he came back and he's killing the game now mm -hmm. he, i don't know why he had to move from a past all the way to san antonio to do <laughs> yeah it. what's up with that oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like i knew it was coming life choices <laughs> no well, it's, it's it's hard because like I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, and then when I started comedy, I started coming here in El Paso, and I've been doing comedy for eight years. So when they introduced me, they say you know El Paso comedian, but because I move around with the military, it went from El Paso comedian to all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Like I just got off the plane two minutes ago, bring it up, Sharita, and I'm like. Not. Yeah, just act like you're rich. Like, yeah, I just literally flew here, guys. Yeah, like <laughs> Southwest, you know, the spirit. I don't, you know, you know. So, how do you introduce yourself now? Are you still in a Pasadena? Are you San Antonio Canadian? Like, or it doesn't even matter. Like, do we have I to put labels? I think so. Yeah, I don't think because, uh, like, I, I think comedy, like, in my at least in my opinion, I want to make everybody laugh. You know? Yeah. That's a, You've seen my set. It's, yes. it's, I try to be a little general, I guess you could say. Yes. I don't like to just be like just the, just the Mexican, just this or whatever. Yeah. So like, I love El Paso. El Paso in my heart. I I was in uh, Nebraska for six years for the military, and I came back to El Paso for the same reason. Mm -hmm. I was always going to be my city. Uh, the only reason I went to San Antonio was to save gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's a lot closer to Austin. Like, <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. And uh, honestly, traffic there is way worse than here. It is. Oh, it's oh god, yeah, it is. Mexican food, but is they the have same. so many different open mics. And, yeah, yeah, and then they have upstage comedy lounge. Shout out to Bobby Smith because he's always put us on when we come out there. Um, that's the main comedy club out there in San Antonio. So please catch Jesper when he's out there. Support live comedy. Uh, support local comedy. Support in general. Thank you guys so much. Thank so, you. Appreciate thank it. You, thank you. All right, up next we got Goose. Woo! The Goose is loose. The Goose is loose. <laughs> I need to do this more often. Come on. Okay. The goose, what's about light? Oh, goose, what's I about need that? something. I'm parched. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Have a sip of my Lone Star? That's a no. That, that, no. Whoa. That's a no. He you says no to Texas, guys. No, that's <laughs> fine. I'm not a Texan boy. That's so right. So it's. You were Texas, uh, though, are we going to so do both I'm things? in Texas, but that's people oh, take to people are very prideful in Texas. And I think I'm they're prideful everywhere, though. Yeah, yeah but I don't feel like I like reside from. I don't know. Yeah, that sucks. I, I yeah. feel like that sucks. That's a terrible <laughs> trait for people. No, start to have. it off. Tell us where you're from. This is Goose. I'm from. AKA Alex Smith. No, Goose. Nope. Just oh, Goose. Just Goose. Oh, yeah. Goose. Fuck my well, fucking name. Just Goose. <laughs> Fuck you, Ma. No. Uh, <laughs> He didn't want Christmas presents anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a beggar. Uh, He's a bad boy. I'm a, yeah. Um, no, I, I was born in Wichita. Right. I started comedy in Wichita, Kansas, not Falls, Texas. Yeah. Like, yeah, what is that, that? We figured. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I consider that I grew up in Vegas. Yeah. So it was, you know, one, one hell of a place to, like, finally have me mentally, like, realize what the world is. Right. Yeah. Like, you know. But have you done comedy in Vegas yet? I haven't. No. Okay. I'd love to. Yes. Yeah. For well, sure. Well, every year I do a comedy run, so let me know if you're interested. What time? Uh, what time? Of it's year. Of oh, year. Yeah. Of <laughs> year. Okay. It's five minutes. Supper is it? It's, it's, <laughs> it's usually around um, summertime because my kids are at school, so I don't have to, like, pay so high for a babysitter. Okay. And then um, I try to say comedy. We have a comedy van, so we drive out there. Nice. And then we try to set it up. Uh, we have a point of contact over there. Everybody knows Adam Dominguez, but we got more Dominguez. point of contacts now. Right, right, we have right. more now because we uh, paved the way. <laughs> uh, so, Ooh. yeah. So, I like to take the El Paso comics and anybody that can go. 
Come on over. No, come on over. Don't sit right next to me. Just get over here. She's shy. She's camera shy. She doesn't do. She's behind the scenes. Okay, well, we got behind the scenes. She'll fucking sue my ass if not. Oh, no. Don't do that. No, no, yeah. But what I like to do is I get a bunch of comics together. Now, you are responsible for getting your own shows, but we do do the shenanigans run where we have the shenanigans show. So we have like a host, feature, and headliner. But we make it to where you get your own bookings because how we run it in Las Vegas, we don't sleep it's like a 24-hour run yeah yeah you, you can't okay, other, other way, yeah, yeah. Sure. We'll have it yeah. i spent yeah. some time out there They'll, they if you sleep at all they will take it's the city that needs a place to sleep uh is what truth. is the new name of the <laughs> well, of and, shower. And, and shower because you do want to change your clothes and shower yeah, yeah if you get the chance you know you, you don't do. end up sticky oh. it still is a <laughs> desert so yeah. no I, I spent a while out there like we're, yeah. we're planning on making some runs Oh, figuring good, out good. some yeah. our, our way uh down there trying to do some uh runs throughout the year next year awesome. uh, i'll definitely so, yeah. fucking keep you in mind please so, do hit, hit you up yeah right? and if I'd you get there and we, we cross paths we even appreciate that too Fuck yeah. don't forget about us you know it's a big time i didn't know I, did, I didn't know you were doing any runs I, I oh yeah I was, hey. I was just like this is the closest uh place that i i knew that we could make something no. happen you know no um a lot of people fail to realize as comics they just get stuck with the open mic scene and they don't get put on shows because they don't know who to network yeah, with that's and kinda, who to work with mm -hmm. one of the things that ends up happening yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a rough place to be and i get yeah. it this I, is the girl you hit up yes because i paved the way like i i've been a comic for eight years i started here in el paso but when i noticed i stopped getting booked in el paso i was like well let me see what these other cities have to yeah offer. and you go out there you get your foot in the door you play nice you shake hands you network and they're like, you hey, do your job yes as a comic yes and, and then know. i'll say do you have any other comics because i don't feel right opening doors for myself and not trying to Put it back into the universe. well. You kind of, you're, you're kind of, you're kind of like forced to it, it, at one point or another. But yeah, you do right. choose who you do business with. Exactly. That's how you know, exactly. you're able to, to do anything. Yeah. You know, I'm not bringing any of you. Like, okay, <laughs> and that's whatever. <laughs> that's cool. We got it. Yes. We got the message. All right. Oh, it's doing great. Yes. Uh, yes. Tell them uh, about your podcast. Goose awesome. Uh, podcast. On your remarkable. Yeah, your favorite uh, new solo podcast. <laughs> Fuck my name up. My grandma died calling me Alex. Oh, you know? dear so it's dear. like, you know, people fuck my name up. I don't really care for it too much. Yeah. It's a dog ball. Shout out. Hey. <laughs> we're glad that it uh, worked out for you. In the right. Long run. So. I, we were rooting for him the whole way yeah. through. We knew yeah. he went, had nothing to do with that. Right. So. <laughs> He's doing his fucking job. Exactly. Listen, if we're going to get into the brass tags about Baldwin. Oh, boy. Let's get let, let's let's take a, a finer look at the people who are handling the ammunition. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to be mind. trained. Yeah. You're supposed to be trained to handle. Goddamn it. mind if you think Alec Baldwin just committed murder right. in front of everybody. You're fucking right. retarded. Right. Right. Sorry, can we say mind. silly things on your podcast? That's what's called shenanigans. Hey, <laughs> silly stuff. We're you making fun of disabilities yes. over here. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> when I'm on here, <laughs> I love it. No, but you're great. Yeah, I just said the N word, but it's you're fine, bit. man. Oh, okay, that's fine. You're good. I got you. I got you, my nigga. Oh, yeah, I fucking love that. So, um, describe. I don't yourself. know his name, but I love him. <laughs> Jake. You're welcome. <laughs> Zeke, by the way, Zeke, by the way, before I before I met you, was the whitest goddamn name you could have. Wow. Uh, it's like, oh, Zeke's cool. It's a black guy. Yeah. You know? Other than that, you're, other than that it's a real, like, yacht party, you know, kind yeah. of thing. Zeke, Abel, and, you know, a bunch of white <laughs> biblical shit. Of but, yeah, no, Zeke's fucking Fair badass. Enough. I love awesome. that guy. Yeah, he's yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So, you know. my favorite disabled yes. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take him all the way to Disneyland. That's what I want to do mostly because we'll because I have a handicap pass. Because we can do the yeah. front of the line. Yeah. Why wait? Yeah. yeah. Two black El Paso. Yeah.
Yeah. You're practically friends. Yeah. 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 So um, here at the company, says, how many uh, shows have you done? Uh, three. And how were they for you? Three, uh, fucking awesome. No, okay. they were great. Yeah. They were fucking great. Uh, I, I did the uh, roast battle mm -hmm. first round. Uh, Alfredo. I think we only did one. Schmuck. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Let him up. Everybody was gonna happen. He had, ovation. <laughs> he had his phone. He had his phone. Like, why would you bring? I didn't want to bring my notes. I mean, I'm gonna talk shit about that. I brought my notes on stage plenty. I feel like as long as you can, like, make, you know, that, that's the thing about like magicians. So long as you nobody, you can make it to where nobody notices. It's like, okay. fun. You know what I mean? <laughs> I fucking loved it. It's so easy. For, I think magicians are some of the funniest people. Yeah. Because even as a comic, like yeah. especially as a comic, the Matrix is on. Yeah. While you're watching other comics. Yeah. So when you're watching a comic do a bit, you're like, where's this gonna end up? In your own head, you know, you're running through where where it's gonna go. But as a magician, you're not looking for where a punchline is gonna. Be. Fucking funny. Especially if they miss a mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or send a slur. Whatever. Okay. So, as you do as a magician. <laughs> wow. You gotta you gotta disarm the people. You know? I think they should bring like, you know, the Yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what, where I don't think down. they're gonna go with this hard trick? The ass <laughs> word. <laughs> so that's just it's just smart. That's all. Awesome, Smooth. So after the comedy festival, what other projects do you have coming up? I mean we're doing unremarkable every fucking week. Uh, we're going to start working on, uh, in the beginning of the year, some runs to Vegas. Uh, I don't know. Honestly, yeah. I'd love to start doing some live events, but if we start doing live uh, as a pod, then I don't really like streaming kind of shit. It's yeah. cool, but it's like Patreon material. Yeah. So I want to like get a cool place, maybe the fucking what, what El Paso is known for, Rose's Cantina. Yes. Like fucking do a live event. That would be really cool. Marty Robbins, shout <laughs> out. Hey. Like, he's still alive. Hey. Fuck Chico's. <laughs> Dude, Chico's is the worst. Chico, I'm sorry. It's Chico's is don't terrible. Don't be sorry. <laughs> Zeke, if there's anything I'm sorry for, it's Chico's don't. is terrible. Don't. I'm I'll double you. down. I'm saving you from it. I I've been here two years. I understand if you were born here and like yeah, yes. you like it's like a, a, a what what do you call religious it? Religious experience. It's a culture. Sure, it's nostalgia. A, yeah. Same thing as a religious experience. <laughs> it's a sometimes phenomenon here. sometimes yes. you you know go into the store. You're like I smell play doh. It's a religious experience. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Chico's is fucking sorry. It's terrible. It's terrible. You got you guys got a lot of landmark food places out here yeah. that need to have attention brought to and I feel like uh, uh, Chico's at a certain point just started depressing. But miraculously they keep passing health inspections. Hey man, if you can hire ex cons, you're in <laughs> <laughs> if you They do if you can barely pass a health inspection and hire people with neck tattoos, you're cool right. by me. Yeah. I think you're really cool. Yeah. But if your food's <laughs> Trash, then your food's trash. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie about it. I'm sorry, yeah. not a sponsor of the pod. At all, at all. No, we're good. We don't need sponsors, we appreciate it. Hey, sponsor, right. Choco I, Rum. I Shit, give away yeah. my last two dollars to that guy. I know. Damn. Oh, hit up shenanigans, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, donations are accepted. To, yes. uh, my, and my puck, you know, oh, yeah. whatever. <laughs> Catholic Church, if you're thinking about donating to them, just I hit us up. I graduated from the Catholic Church in my school that I graduated from. Closed shenanigans down. and unremarkable. No yeah. rape. <laughs> no rape happening. So, you know, just if you're in all. church and thinking about who deserves it. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. That's all I'm saying. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, this is Mission Annie's podcast with Ghost. Thank you so much for sitting Thank down and talking with much. us. Appreciate it. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, much, 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 much blessings to you and your search. And, and you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the journey. Much. We'll keep you away from Chico's. Uh, <laughs> I do that all the time by myself, the empty gas tank. Oh, <laughs> I don't. Oh, my God, that's crazy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, oh, so. The comedy festival, that, like I said, this is the first comedy festival that they have here in Los Texas, and it's been a nice run. Uh, we we sold out a lot of shows, so that's surprising for us. And I don't say that in a bad way. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I was I was surprised. I was really surprised. Oh my gosh! Next up, we got the. Hey, 
extraordinaire. Please welcome back Anthony Austin. Bro. Racist shit, y'all been talking about. Oh, I, <laughs> didn't bring up, I didn't bring up any racist shit yet. No, we the did. Deal with <laughs> we did. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> here, so here at the Tom Festival, how many shows will you put on? Um, two. I, my second one's gonna be at 10:30. It'll be a chuckle rum. Chuckle rum, like talk about slave heat. It's Jesus in Christ. and it's in the basement. Yeah, y'all, y'all. What? It's yes, it's in the basement. It's it's in the basement. Where the hell is this place? So when you go to Rosewood, but it's in the basement. Uh, Okay. It's downstairs. It's literally like okay. that um that movie I saw with the the bitch downstairs with the dangly titties. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. Not, but, the, not the, <laughs> the people on the stairs. Uh, it is um. Go, you right. know what I'm talking yeah, about? Like, the fuck they get a um Airbnb. What's, what's it? Paul oh, Barbarian. There we go. Yeah. There we yeah. go. Okay. And she's yeah. like, mama, mama. Ma. <laughs> wait, wait. And she's like, you want some breast milk? Mama, mama, mama. It was grave. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you did not get it. No, I'm good. I, I leaned, I leaned. Yes, yes. I didn't get it on my Wakanda Bill Cosby shirt. Damn, damn. So um so yes, you do you're here on the the Truco Town County Festival and you were doing Feline Fox music too. Yeah, right? I'm everywhere. Yes. I've been everywhere. Which is why I find it funny whenever, you know, at the end of the day, like people doing their you know, pursuing anything. In the city, there's gonna be people to talk shit in the comments, and I was just okay. looking. I was looking, just like, I'm not going, or like the typical "nice try, Diddy." I'm like, first Whoa. of all, I'm like, first of all, they got that nigga. Stop using that in the comments. <laughs> For real, people even look like Diddy, and he sing way better than Diddy. I, Diddy oh, don't no. even sing. He no, he, yes, he did. Remember I, that verse that he tried to pull? Which oh, one? The, oh shit! Damn it! And he sings better than Diddy. He looks better no, than him no. too. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, he said, uh, <laughs> yo, his verse was so bad because they, they, they like cut him Which one? Uh, oh, it's a new thing uh, that came out. No, 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 no. you're thinking of that one where he was like, I need a girl to ride with me. Yeah, yeah. it's like, no. like, I fight with you like you're brothers. That's why we tickle, play, fight, undercover. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. While we're on the subject, like, yeah, are y'all yeah. seeing all the videos resurfacing with yes. B-Diddy and shit? Yes, oh, oh yeah. Like, uh... <laughs> My favorites are the top top ones right now is uh, the Usher, <laughs> yeah. the one with Usher and Kevin Hart. Oh, oh, the, oh my! That shit is so fucked up because he's like, "What's Kevin Hart in everything now?" <laughs> I don't want to know the answer because there's the, uh, there's an Epstein list and there's a Diddy list. So yikes! I don't know who's gonna come True. on that. But if y'all remember, Cat, Cat, not only just Cat Williams, but um. Uh, Kevin Hart was telling people, it's like, hey, you gotta watch out for the dinner. Yeah. Tell people, they was warning people. Because you know? P. Diddy wants to party, and you got <laughs> to tell him no. And the two shortest people were like, mm, we can't do that. You're gonna be folding me like that. No. So. I, no. Even, <laughs> even Mike Tyson's in fear of this nigga. Yeah, like, that's he another video. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you can see he's like stealth. He on hunt and then just like <laughs> uncomfortably he's just <laughs> And and Mike Tyson will give you a two piece and a biscuit easy. So sure if you would. made Mike Tyson uncomfortable, bro, you got something. I knew I knew something was up when you see shit like way well, you see it like as it's as yeah. it's happening, yeah. but then you don't process shit until shit starts happening. Yeah. When I saw this nigga dress up as the Joker. That's what everybody's saying. He was so diabolical. Thing, it's me, baby. I'm like, what's no. going on? Yeah. Even Tyler, the yeah. creator, was freaked out. He's a freaky yeah. ass dude. So he took cosplay to a whole nother level. Right? Yeah, scaring niggas in the street. Come to a Just squeezing baby oil on people. Who just... <laughs> <laughs> is me, baby? <laughs> That explains why every time I go to Star can't find any JVL. So that makes sense. Oh, oh my sense. God. <laughs> See, epiphany. You ever wonder why it's gone? Diddy. <laughs> Yo, but that album release party when Diddy get to jail with R. Kelly. That oh my God, it's going to get turned off. It's going to have features. <laughs> R. Kelly's going to have braids and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and Diddy going to be like, you ain't no like a braid, huh? Oh, I was talking about the best. <laughs> you going to look good, playboy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Man. And then it's like all and, and we grew up a lot of music that they did, we grew up on that. We did. Oh, so what yeah. do we have now? You know? uh, we still have shit, but like I don't I'm not gonna look at Rush Hour the same. Oh that's right. It's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah. They remi they reminisce their friendship from that and now I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Uh, 
that's slip and slide now. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's that take that take that. Right. That's that uh, take away. <laughs> <laughs> somebody tells you something, or somebody gives you something. So. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. and I'm trying to figure out why. Why is it so hard to say no? Why is it so easy to get caught up in the scandals? Because there's a lot of people's careers that never took off. They were promised so much. They were promised album rights and tours and merchandise. Yes. You're going to be this big star, and they didn't even make it off the ground. Right. Because, uh, I mean, read your contracts, I guess, guys. Who has well, the time for that? Yeah. Uh, we do now. Yes. Look, yes. Look, look at all these Disney kids and yes. all these other yeah. motherfuckers. They're saying that they signed their souls away. And then some people are like, no, no, you can't sign your soul away. Your soul's not yours to give away. Jesus will come and save you. I'm like, what? I mean, uh, the I allegations are fake. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> but you can't get in those with booty holes. Everybody doing the that's all raven faces. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie Brown somewhere just jumping I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say that we owe Orlando Brown an apology. Not me, but you know, I because they were like he was talking crazy, but he was telling us all these celebrities, Jaguar right is hot. You know who I think we're gonna owe an apology? Who? Kanye. Big time. Because he was playing the system. Now, nah, he like, said some ignorant shit. Well, sometimes when you get happy, you just say things. Nick, like, well, slavery is a choice? No, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> never in history do I think any said. black person was like, I think we should do this. No. <laughs> like, no. What? No. <laughs> never. No. So, I just wish that when they saw the reports coming, they went the other way. But they did it. But it happened. They were prob- probably promised some great things. We got this thing called America, baby. Yes, You're going to be yes. a star. You got your own land to talk. You're going to work the fields. I mean, I mean you going to build stuff. You're going to help us in a major way, baby. Yes. And then you're you're building the generational house. wealth. Whoa. <laughs> What'd you say? It's like you brothers are going to build a giant house for us. We're going to call it the White House. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah. You see those motherfuckers? <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, we went too deep in here. Bro. That's what's called shenanigans. <laughs> he needs time like, to process now. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. So, can I, they even see my black ass? Yes, like, they can see. That's why like, yeah. that's the light. Oh, we got the light. All right. If anything, they saw like you last time. Yeah. <laughs> so you're good. Yeah, they saw you last time with the comedy hangs and you talking Oh, yeah, shit. we were talking shit at Scenics. Yeah, yeah so there, yeah, you're, you're a favor on the shenanigans, so I appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, thank you, thank you. yes. So after the comedy festival, what is your next project coming out? So what I got coming up is a lot. Actually, next weekend I get to celebrate um, my girl's birthday. We're gonna go to Las okay, Vegas for the first time. For the first time. For the first time together, yeah. and this is gonna be the first time I go to Vegas without having to perform. So I get to enjoy myself right, without being right. like, ah. You don't have to spend a lot. And is, it, is it a family event or just couples? Uh, family event, okay. but like we'll, we'll yeah, still find time to have a couple stuff, and yeah. then. Um, um, October 17th, I'll be at End of the Mountain Gods, and then I have stuff lined up for next year. I'll be going back to California, doing flappers again. I'll be doing uh, Indiana for the first time, Virginia for the first time. So oh, I'm spreading shit. out east and west coast, so uh, keep be an eye out for me. Hot to a pull. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right. You ain't got when do you have time to rest? <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, you said I haven't gotten over. No, it's just... Ah. Yeah, if y'all seen that, that part of my set, uh, you, you would understand where my frustrations lie. We gotta stop the 15 minutes of fame, goddammit. Yes. We Some got of to. us are working way harder than that. Be careful who you idolize, too, because yeah. like a lot of these celebrities are barely coming out. Yeah. Your, your favorite done. celebrity might be next. Yep. Taylor Swift? No. Oh, <laughs> you kidding. might be. Actually, you're right. You might be. I don't know. I think, I, I you... think Gaga would get cut up before her. So. <laughs> Gaga, for, I've heard her name thrown around a little bit. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Her dad's name is got thrown around. Yeah. She, she, like, he endorsed the Republicans. That's why. Oh, oh. He did. She didn't. She endorsed Democrats. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. It's because she's freaky. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> she was at the Diddy parties. Hi, my Democrat. And there's so many lists. Yes. So many names and I lists. Just, yeah, I just don't like being on the no fly list. Like somebody who saves starts with an E, P, that kind of list. Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Are we ignoring that? 
everybody's ignoring that because we always talk about it, but we haven't seen the list. It's out there, actually. It is out there. It's published. Yeah, sure. but I'm not going to look for it's it. It's like the Lord of the Rings ring. Everybody's <laughs> looking for it. The precious. The precious, bro. <laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. So, do you have any more shows tonight? Um, I got one last one in ten thir- at ten thirty. Right. Uh, okay. Chuckle Rum, and uh, this is what it's gonna feel like if we were ever to do comedy in the slave boat. <laughs> oh my <laughs> like, god! Okay. I swear this this heat Noxious? is unbearable. <laughs> like Chris Rock in a slave boat. What's the deal with these chains, right? Like it's gonna be so hot. Um, but it's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, enjoy but that. and hot. Yes. <laughs> well, enjoy Fun. that. And thank you for stopping by. <laughs> we gotta wrap up because I got a nine thirty show. I don't know. Oh, that's right. What time is it? Five. Okay, yes. Yeah, so okay. We're gonna wrap up. Uh, so thank you, Anthony Austin thank Brown. You. Let thank people you know again, again their social media handles where they can find you. Um, you can find me in any social media platform by typing at dot com. Peace out, bitches. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Johnson coming to the stage. What's up, Chris Johnson? Oh, no. so oh you know, you just standing there. Yeah, He's just standing there. <laughs> <out there. laughs> you just standing in the He's background. He's going out after that. <laughs> All right. So, go. No. Huh? Okay, well, thank y'all for tuning in. This has been Shenanigans. Adios. And, yes, we'll see y'all in a week. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> you got to press the I don't know how